Hey Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. How's everyone doing? All right, let's see what the messages are. Ah, there's your energy right here. Page of Cups. Loving, happy, curious. this innocence that you have, not being naive, but you just live your life and wow, this beautiful star energy. You heal people by sharing your light, by being around others, because you have this very specific way of viewing the world and it's that bright-eyed excitement um, you're not jaded, so it's beautiful, and people appreciate that, especially in a world where everyone's hiding, one, 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 you know, you're teaching others, or not even teaching, you're, you're showing others this beautiful way to live, and it's inspiring others to try it. Like, hey, what if I'm not mad all the time? What happens if I say hello to people or I, I compliment someone walking by? And you see how by you doing that, energy shifts. You know, people go from feeling this disappointment and like grief or just feeling bad to really changing their perspective. You operate very much as an enlightened being and it doesn't matter your age. You have this young spirit. Even though you're this old soul, your spirit is still very young and excited about life. And people have a hard time with that. Um, I, I didn't hold it up, but the, the five of wands is there. So it's, it's complicated. It's conflicting. It's like, wait, how does Pisces do that? Even with all of the things that life burdens us with, you still maintain this beauty this levity, it's like you're, you're the bubbles in champagne or sparkling water. If you have too much champagne, that gives you a headache. But, you know, just that effervescence of life, it, it takes any heaviness out of a situation. But just by you being there, you don't have to do anything, you're just yourself. And that's part of this healing work that you do. You know, you may just have a, a regular job, a regular life, but your energy is so uplifting. People feel it, people wanna be around you. So the more people that you interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, when you're feeling good, you're changing the whole energy signature of those people. And it's a sudden change. It's like, whoa, it's like being, you know, struck by lightning. It's like, oh my goodness. How does this person even exist in this world that's very lonely? And you've had your fair share of challenges of loneliness. And that's what makes you so inspirational and amazing is that even though you've been through all of these things, all of these challenges, you still get to choose who you are, how you show up every day. It's like looking at the bright side. It's, 
it's even though you've had these disappointments, you focus on what is working out, these two cups that are still upright. It's like you turn them into these wishes, like the genie in the lamp. You're just so wonderful at manifesting. And you've learned this and you're, you're teaching others, hey, it's not just me, you can do this too. And I feel like people are trying it and they're amazed. You're really in tune with nature, animals. Animals really love you. It could be that where, I don't know if you have a pet or anything, but, oh wow, look at this. Oh, Pisces, what is happening? 606. There is an emperor coming towards an empress and quickly with the Knight of Swords. So you're going to meet someone that's the opposite of, okay, how can I say this? That has different energy from you. You know how this will fit, but say you're more dynamic, this person will be more receptive. Or say you're more receptive, this person will be more dynamic. So that yin and yang, yin and yang energy. It could be an Aries. It could be someone with a lot of water in their chart, but they are externally, you know, very emperor energy. This is also Aries with the Fool card. So this is someone brand new, someone that you don't know. And, you know, in, in another way to view it too is if, you know, if it's not a relationship -y situation for you, it's you're learning how to be dynamic in order to receive. You've got to put yourself out there. You have to share parts of yourself in order to have these connections. We can't just hermit and think people are going to, to feel a soul level connection. How? If we're not interacting with anyone. And it's knowing that you're protected always You know, people do have to, oops, sorry, donut. People do have to show you that, you know, they're trustworthy. It's not just like, oh, yes, I'll just jump into anyone's arms like Donut does. She's on my lap. Um, it's her little ear. But, you know, there's a bit of caution, but at this, uh, that's the thing. Because I watch her do it she'll jump into anyone's arms and they're so happy for it because I feel like the universe is directing you and guiding you and this person or this energy to you so you can trust it even though you've been through betrayal in the past and had your feelings hurt or things not working out, your energy has changed so much that you are not attracting in that kind of trouble, let's say, anymore. So whoever this is, this is about success. This is about, you know, seeing the fruits of of your energy you know what you um yeah oh we got we got a new moon coming up on the fourth we have a full moon coming up i think it's the 19th 
So around this time, you're gonna see where, you know, someone was holding back, but they're not going to anymore. So if you've had an Aries in your midst, they're going to get out of this feeling of burden and actually open their heart to you because they've seen you do this. No matter what you've been through, you're still loving. And they're gonna be there to, to show you stability and support because you have been a stable force. So they know that they cannot come to you if there's any kind of instability. You know who you are and you know what you want and you will not settle for anything less. And they realize that being wishy-washy in the past has just led to disappointments for them and that you're really unbothered. So they're changing. They're like, you know what? If I don't step up, I'm going to lose Pisces. So I know I did mention that it might not be someone that you know, but that's been their pattern of being just kind of wishy-washy. And they're realizing, wait, in order for me to be with someone like Pisces, I need to be steady. I need to give openly. I need to express myself. Otherwise, Pisces will move on and the universe will make that happen. They're not going to get as much time with you. The Queen of Cups, they can no longer hold back their feelings in relationships. It, they have to communicate. They have to share because they realize how toxic that was in the past to their other relationships. That's why things never lasted more than two years. Whether it was a marriage or just dating, it's like, oh, okay. Because they weren't being true to themselves. They weren't being expressive. And you're not the type of person that will deal with any kind of shallow relationship. So this energy has taken a lot of strength you know, to fight back against tendencies to be secretive, to not share and expect the other person to do all of the work that doesn't, doesn't work. Both people have to give. And sometimes, you know, one gives and the other receives. So if they can't give to you when you need it, after you've been giving so much to them, it ends. You know, resentment builds. All right, I think that's it. So, yep, yeah, Ace of Cups is at the bottom. So, this is a, a renewal of love. You know, the cup is being filled. And this is something that you've manifested. So either it's within the same relationships that you have with people, friends or otherwise, this is something that you've said, hey, this is what I need in my life. And this is part of your path. And if people cannot see that and do that, that's it. There, there's a block and you'll move on. This is an impasse. Okay, I guess we can't go any further. Yep, there we go. Ten of Swords, ending, the world, and ending. So this is a new cycle of, of being. And there's energies out there that want to keep you stuck because they like that old you. Yep, oh my. So if you're feeling that energy, just make sure you have enough space for yourself, okay? If you're feeling any tinge of that, just 
create some space and see what happens. Either people come around or they just keep going. All right, Pisces, so beautiful reading. Keep doing what you're doing. You deserve this balanced partnership coming in or these balanced friendships, this renewal of, okay, what am I going to tolerate in my life? All right? Okay, Pisces, I love you. We'll see you soon.